It's Chris Lynn and Marco Zaman currently at it, and uh, they're doing it in some style. Who needs Ben Dunn for when Chris Lynn is striking the way he does? Absolutely savage from Chris Lynn. I'm going to have a look upstairs as to whether or not it hit the cushion on the half volley or on the full. Half volley it is. Lonely before, but man, he's hit that hard. No disrespect to Ben Dunn, but the Lahore certainly showing they're not just a one-man team tonight. Bakha Zaman's got his highest score for HBL PSL 5. He's on 61 of 43, and this partnership is propelling Lahore to their third win in a row. 89 from 53. And Lynn has come out firing. Crunch that away. Four runs, back-to-back -back fours for Lahore. And Carlos Brathwaite under pressure. Reminds me of watching the likes of Gordon Greenwich and Robin Smith on the cut shot when I was a kid. You just feel sorry for the man at backward point, hoping that none of them get in the way. It's just vicious. Slashed backward a point. No chance whatsoever for the fielders. No chance for the ball boy. It was another 70 metres behind them. Incredible upper body strength from Chris Lynn. Strike rate at the moment, 193.3. What can Wahab Riyaz say now with Lynn in this kind of mood? I don't know about you, Cass, but whatever he said, Carlos Brathwaite doesn't look that impressed. It's like, all right, buddy, you come and bowl it. <laughs> well, the last 30 balls have yielded 57 runs without any wickets, and that's been the challenge for Zelmi tonight. They just haven't been able to strike. They took just one wicket since Chris Lynn has come at the crease. They've just been uh, scoring at will, haven't they? Well, the move to uh, drop Chris Lynn down to number three has indeed been a genius one. It took his time to get in. And uh, strike rate well below 60. And then in one over, the whole thing kick-started and he hasn't looked back. Lewis Gregory was the man who uh, was beaten on that occasion and now everybody's getting beaten. scored 106 in the last 10 overs which will remember in the last five just how well Lahore did to pull it back they picked up four wickets in those last five overs for the addition of just 48 runs so just so well set up uh, the home team haven't beaten Zalmi since 2016 so talk about a turnaround in campaign yeah well that run had to come to an end didn't it seven on the bounce that Zalmi have beaten the calendars but just, you just feel you've sensed it here, the home games for the calendars, that the momentum shift and the way that they're playing and the belief that they suddenly have means that they're a real nasty proposition to come up against when they're in this mood. That's why. Unfortunate time to have to re -bowl that delivery. 43 required in 27 deliveries. It looks an easy ask if you have nine wickets in the bank. It's a strange game, this. One or two overs without boundaries. But the momentum is with the home side, and the partnership is 95 from 56. That's a good stop on the boundary. And just a single. Yeah, good work from Yasser Shah. It does bring Chris Lynn back on strike for the final two deliveries of this Brathwaite over. It's been a stunning chase, it really has. Just time to perfection. They're not there yet. Still work to be done. At least the required run rate is under 10. Butch, I was outside for about five minutes a few overs ago. It's absolutely manic. It's a packed house here at Lahore, and the crowd cannot wait a couple more overs will the home team do it it's high in the air there's a fielder running towards it under the lights what a catch yes a shot is uh, pulled off a stunner hasn't he well that's brilliant he kept them down to one he made sure that chris lynn was on strike that delivery with a brilliant diving stop down at long off 
and then the very next delivery sprints in off the boundary gets himself just inside the 30 yard circle and I reckon we might have even got a dive for the cameras in there as well this went miles up in the air but just watch Yashisha on the bottom of your screen sprinting in oh he dives he just makes it inside the 30 yard circle magnificent pulls off the jaunty dive have a look look wow well done Yasir Shah big wicket at a crucial time of the innings Chris Lynn gone for 59 it's 146 for two Ben Bubble Dunk, he's inspired the Bubble Challenge after an emphatic knocker, an unbeaten 99 of 40 deliveries that powered his team to victory over Karachi Kings. 42 required from 25. In the larger scheme of things, this is a bit of a cakewalk for Ben. <laughs> Listen, no team has ever chased more than 180 against Peshawar Zalmi. That'll be what they're thinking to themselves. No one's done it before. These guys have still got work to do. dismissal of Chris Lynn just lost his shape the bat twisting in his hands as he makes contact and he knew the moment it came off the blade that he was in trouble he didn't reckon on Yasir Shah with the acrobatics out there running in from mid off see Lynn's head goes down as soon as he makes the strike thirteen from the over one forty eight for two Out. Back to back wickets, and uh, this is exactly what Zelmi needed. And they've got both the set batters out. Yeah, I said it wasn't over. There was still work to do, still runs to be scored. Then Zalmi now have two men on naught at the crease. The perfect scenario for them. Wahab decided to go hard, hard into a length, just outside off stump. It's a swipe from Vaka. And guess what? Is Yasser Shah in the right place at the right time once again? Backer goes for 63. It's 148 for three. Tension around the Gaddafi Stadium as Mohammed Afiz walks out to join Ben Dunk. Two batters that uh, you'd bet your life on if you're looking for 40 of 23. But uh, it's a tough old game, this. Samit Patel is uh, all padded up. I reckon I might have gone Samit over her fees, the professor. But we shall see. Ben Dunk to face his first ball. Well, he'll take that. It brings up the 150. And the equation now, 36 from 22. You occasionally get this as a batsman. Occasionally, particularly in my case, where everything you do turns to gold. Miss cues, miss the fielders, fly for four. Fielders drop you. 
and you just turn the score over without even trying. Ben Dunk has a swipe, goes over the keeper's head for four. Wahab Riaz has dismissed Ben Dunk two times of just three balls in PSL. There's been lots of talk about the bubble gum, and Ben Dunk says, don't read too much into it. It just keeps me calm, it keeps me focused. I know it's not the best habit, but it works for me. I think he's going to get an endorsement after this PSL. <laughs> There's a bubble challenge on at the moment. I think we're going to have to try it. Perhaps Slats is going to do an Insta story. Never mind which bubble gum. I want to know which hairdresser that dude goes to. <laughs> ben Dunk, 23 sixes in HBL PSL 5 so far. And we want to see his team across the line, and that's what he said. I may have missed out on 100, but I got my team across the line. Yeah, 22 of those came in two innings. The Gladiators and the Kings felt the uh, the might of his blade. But that's a really, really good effort from him. It's also a good effort from Wahab. This is a quiet, quiet over. Two balls left. Can he get out of it without destruction from Dunk? celebrations it's all going really well for the home team and then both the set batters out in the space of two runs oh see see what i mean he's he's in that mode as a batsman where everything is going your way easy stop in the covers misfielded So very crucial. Lewis Gregory. Is that a tough game? I'm not sure he's fully recovered from the bag he'd picked up. One ball to go in the 17th over. And they finished with the boundary. Suddenly, it's starting to get tight, isn't it? It's heading towards 11 to the over required. 33 now from 19. Well, superb from uh, Wahab using all his experience and not inconsiderable skill. He's trusted with bowling uh, death overs for franchises in the CPL. West Indies also. Question is, who closes it out from the other end? Wahab Riaz is finished. One for 27. And they're going for two. That is really good running, and the dive was special. 30 now from 17 required. The required run rate is 10.59. So have a look at that body language from Ben Dunk. Please just run out. Actually, no, he managed to get a dive in yesterday and snuck himself over the line. The professor throwing himself around like a... 21 year old. Still think I would have sent Sammy. Yeah, he needed a couple of big hits. Sailing mm. over that boundary. Five balls since the last boundary. It's in the air and it will be caught. So it's uh, wickets at the moment that's dominating the action here at the Gaddafi Stadium and Carlos Brathwaite gets involved. Yeah, back of a leg to Hafiz. Wasn't going to give him anything on the drive at the bat. Steep bounce is excellent from uh, Brathwaite. And uh, Gregory makes no mistake a backward point. Hafiz a runner ball four. And again... I repeat, I'm not sure he was the man for that situation. The Roar have lost their fourth. It's the prof. 158 for four now.
Zalmia picks up three for 12 to get them right back into this contest. Summit is new to the crease, yet to face a delivery. Ben Dunk, six off three. And the equation, 30 required from 16 balls. Summit Patel can hit a long ball. And uh, he's required at the moment to do exactly that. The required run rate has shot up over 11. Well, Brathwaite has uh, figured out the sort of length and line he wants to bowl here. It's taking uh, an absolute age to get the field set right to Ben Dunk. He's a sort of wide third man, a man on the line of almost like a fourth slip on the offside, inside the circle. It's a man at deep extra cover, long off. Long on, straight mid-wicket, and then the two men behind square are inside the circle on the leg side. Yeah, and he bowled to that field. It's three men in a, a very wide arc from a, a wide third man to extra cover to mid-off. So the wide half volley was the right choice. That's the end of the fees. Again, it's back of a length ball. Bounces up over hip height. Fees is looking leg side perhaps, but never in a position to hit it. Gregory does the rest. Three balls to go in this over. It's got two for 16. Singles are not going to do the trick at the moment. It's just getting tighter and tighter. The required run rate is touched 12. So it'll be fancy to bowl the 19th. Rahat has got one left. Yassir has bowled three. I don't think we'll see him again. Gregory's bowled two and gone round the park. Rahat's got to be the man, hasn't it? Got to go with the left armour from the pavilion end. So will it be Rath Ali and Brathwaite to finish up for the Zalmi? <laughs> will this be caught? Yes, it will. Oh, almost fumbled. Tom Banton and Brathwaite with the two wickets in the over. That's just brilliant execution. Brilliant execution. Mohamed Akram and... Uh, Darren Sammy embraced down there in the dugout for Zalmi. But Brathwaite had the field set perfectly. Two men back within 30 yards of each other, long off and deep extra cover. He bowled exactly the right ball. And finally, somebody has burst Ben Dunn's bubble. Whoops, almost, almost spilt it. Tom Benton sticks the tang out. Can't blow bubbles right now, Ben Dunk, he's disappointed. Out for seven, 160 for five. Oh, four runs, exactly what the home team needed. And uh, Carlos Brathwaite hands on head, but he's done well. Two wickets from the over. It's 164 after tee off from the word go. Yeah, two a ball. Two a ball needed. The tension here is becoming unbearable. The home fans, three overs ago, thought it was going to be a cruise. Another easy run chase led by uh, Chris Lint and Fakhar Zaman how quickly things have changed this uh, Zelmi side do not lie down there's a reason no one's chased 180 plus against them before oh that's a 
in this field. They go for two. They, they do. Good running. You've got to be right at the top of your game in these final overs in the field. Yep, two a ball needed. Another two picked up. Smashed with. And it just burst through Yassir's shot. To be fair, if, uh, if he hadn't got something on it, it would have been four. 20 off 10. You can feel the tension around the Gaddafi Stadium. It's a full house because their team have been winning. They've won the last two games emphatically by eight wickets. Absolute monster from cricket's answer to David Grohl. He's absolutely killed this. Got himself deep in the crease and got the perfect delivery. The perfect delivery. A little short off cutter. And then he kissed it goodbye into the night sky. Magnificent. Last year, he crashed five sixes in a chase of over 200 against Multan Sultan, so he knows how to do this. David Visser, is this your night? Well, that's all right. They've got it down to something that's very manageable now. 13 from eight. The dugout is intense, the crowds are intense. This is such a good game for HBL PSL 5. You want these nail biters. <laughs> the fans in yellow were dancing in the aisles three deliveries ago. Now they can barely look. Even Darren Sammy, that's a slightly sheepish smile, the first one we've seen tonight. A few balls ago, it was looking good. 11 from this over, two balls to go. situation like this in an atmosphere like this this is an absolutely wonderful stroke from Sami Patel he gives himself a little bit of room tiny shimmy to the leg side and somehow has managed to get the bat speed onto that slower delivery through extra cover it's just a little punch hardly any backlift splits the field where will he go here? Good ball, but they'll pinch a single. Excellent over. 16 from it. One over to go. And Lahore need eight of the final over for victory. Excellent from Brathwaite. Three for 21. It's been a, a huge intervention from the big Barbadian. Got five balls to try and close this one out. We're in super over territory. There only been two super overs in PSL history. And guess what? Lahore have been involved in both. 1-1, one, one, lost one. And there is... It's just tension everywhere. Power that. Pinch a single. So it gets uh, David Visa on strike. Seven required from four deliveries. What a match this has turned out to be. Now, now we're going to have a little look. Wahab and Brathwaite are together. Brathwaite has been meticulous about this field. And uh, Wahab will pretty much go with his bowler here, I reckon. 
Brathwaite is uh, directing traffic. The crowd can barely watch. He's, uh, not only is he worrying about which position they're in, he's trying to get his best fielders in where he thinks the hot spots are going to be. <laughs> fielders in yellow running everywhere. Like bananas belting it all around the field. <laughs> Might take a while, folks. Press the field is where you want, but if it's a hit me delivery, David Visa is going to clear that boundary. Seen some fantastic fan gear here tonight. Just what a spectacle it's been. So happy to have the PSL back in Pakistan where it belongs. The fans have come out in their thousands to support their heroes from uh, home and away. And by and large, they've been treated to some incredible cricket, some absolutely magnificent stuff from the players on show. So we've got the two behind uh, square on the offside. Man back at deep backward square leg. Another one at deep mid wicket. Another one at long on. Another one at long off. That's it. A single, a good delivery. This is a really good over from Carlos Brathwaite. A dot ball. Uh, two singles, six off, three butch. Call it. Where's it going? Well, I mean, it's one ball, isn't it? One ball, and you win the game. And such is the the power and skill of the modern batsman. You wouldn't you wouldn't bet against one of them doing it. Carlos Brathwaite again has got to outthink Samit Patel. Stuck with pretty much the same field as he had for David Visa. Yeah, exactly the same. Is he going to go for the same delivery? Leg stump, Yorker. Oh, Animus. What a bluff. That's an incredible bluff from Carlos Brathwaite. Slow ball into the pitch, wide of off stump. Samit Patel was setting himself for something full and in at leg stump. Oh, mate, what an over this is. He's just one step ahead every ball, but he still has David Visa in range. One stroke. Five required from two. Is there a super over on the cards? No need. Visa into the six and the whole beating the Zalmi for the first time since 2016 in HBL PSL. A five wicket victory and the fans are up on their feet. Have a listen to Gaddafi Stadium. They are going.